the bad news is they're not good. The uh, good news is they're not bad. I still waged an honest attempt at making some plug and B type beats and in this video I want to break those down. So let's go. Plugin B is one of the many amazing things that came out of the rise of SoundCloud rap. Now, even though I felt confident that I could make Plugin B because I know my way around music theory and 90s R&B, I still had to do some research. So what I did is I checked out YouTube videos, I checked out tutorial videos, cookup videos, and I checked out some general Plugin B type beats. I also went over to TikTok, you know, scrolling, following some Plugin B producers, you know, especially Josh Bay, who was really amazing in my opinion. Eventually, I reached a point where I said to myself, I can do this, and that's when I started started thinking of some concepts because to me as somebody who grew up in the 90s plug and b essentially sounds like a very exaggerated form of 90s r&b it has the basis it has the intricacy in the chords but it goes so dummy hard with the leads it's super intricate super expressive i really like it so what i did to help myself is just walk around at random moments of the day and just start humming melodies and chord progressions to myself which i then recorded into voice notes of course i had to do a little bit of research of which vsts are being used in plug and b now it's mostly just purity uh, Xenology by Roland, the JV1080 by Roland, uh, uh, the Korg M1, X-Band is also an honorable mention. You can even try Nexus if you want to go for some for some dreamy sounding bells and pass, that also works. But I mostly stuck to the Korg M1 and Xenology by Roland. Now much like you beautiful people, I have trap kits in abundance because I'm a hoarder just like y'all. I mean, why would I pass on the opportunity to add a kit to my collection and then never use it, right? So essentially, I had all of the ingredients, the theoretical knowledge, the VSTs, and the drum kits to make some plug and B. So first I'm gonna play y'all the recorded voice memos and then I'm gonna play y'all the chord progression that they evolved into, you know, while being embarrassed of the voice memos. For this one, I wanted to go for some kind of male R&B group kind of vibe, like the harmonizing. So I kind of thought like Silk, Shy, Boys to Men, 112, that kind of vibe. Enjoy. I wanna spend all of my time with you. All of my love to you So everything in terms of melodies and leads and shit is provided to you by Roland Synology. I picked up two super smooth, super slick R&B leads. I played some cool little melodies with them. Y'all can check them out right now. And then to top off the sample, I added a nylon guitar patch and I also added a brass section just to put some little more stank on the first chord of the bars. As we know, Plug and B heavily relies on trap drums. I mean, you can do some different stuff, but nine of the 10 times is trap drums. I had to get used to that because I haven't made trap in a hot minute, but nonetheless, I ended up settling for this drum beat right here. And once you put everything together, you get this plug and B beat right here, which actually happens to be my first ever plug and B type beat. Beat number two is kind of exactly what I mean when I say that Plug and B is a little bit of an exaggerated form of 90s R&B. I mean, this one goes all out with the melody and the expressiveness and stuff like that, but you wouldn't really hear that in the 90s R&B song, or at least not that easily. Nonetheless, for this one, I listened to a lot of Keith Sweat and that I use as a basis to make this little chord progression right here. Now, I've got two patches from the M1 that serve as the basis for the chords. Uh, the rest is being supplemented by Xenology, so let's break that down. I was definitely not holding back in terms of the leads. I've got two patches from Xenology playing leads and I'm supplementing that with a steel string guitar patch from Xenology. Uh. 
Oh man, there's so much in this beat. There's so much in this beat because I want to diverse to differentiate from the hook. So I added a couple more patches from the M1 and Synology, which you're about to hear right here. So then we top it off with a set of drums that sound similar to the first beat that y'all heard and that gives us our final product for the second beat. also allows us to transition into our third and last beat. Personally, I think that this is the best sample out of them all, but at the same time, I don't think that this is the best beat out of them all. But when I listen to that voice memo, I think to myself, damn, I would have been garbage in the 90s, but at least I got a good feel for your music. So at this point, you all know the drill. The chords are being provided to you by the Korg M1 and the melodies are being provided to you by Xenology, which sounds something like this. These winter nights can get so cold. I need your trust, your love and affection. These winter nights can get so cold. I didn't have any particular inspiration from a 90s R&B track for, you know, the singing that I did and the sample that I made. I just thought to myself, how can I sing something or can I sing something that in terms of cadence and movement sounds as 90s as possible? And out of that came these beautiful leads, which you're about to hear right now. I wanted to do something different for that beat, but I didn't do anything significantly different. I just decided to go with a kick instead of a Zay 808, and that worked perfectly well for the drum beat. So then you put all of that together with a couple of perks, and that gives us our third and final beat, Beautiful People. So beautiful people, now we're at the end of this video. I want to give you a couple of tips that help me make some plugin B. The first is, you know, to be very careful in the sounds that you're selecting. Be very deliberate about it. I know that I wanted a classic 90s R&B feel. So I went with, you know, pianos that sounded very open, very dreamy, glassy even. So FM pianos and acoustic pianos, they do the trick really well. E pianos with the similar vibe, they do the trick really well. In terms of leads, I went for warm leads with a lot of glide, with a lot of portamento. They sound kind of flute is they sound really thin you know you can add a little bit of chorus to that so it's leads based on either a sine wave you know sine leads do the job well square leads they can do the job well but it depends on the context in which you're using so you know be aware of that in terms of drums you know trap drums you know trap drums that's basically it so with all that being said beautiful people i'm just curious to know what you think of the beats are they mid are they trash are they good what you know what room for improvement is there but i mostly hope that i'll be able to see y'all in the next video now y'all be easy peace